gonna do a video right now on converting STLs to step files. Um, so the reason I'm doing this is because sometimes you'll be on Thingiverse and you'll come across a design which doesn't quite meet your needs, so you need to modify it. Uh, quite often, these designs have intricate geometries like this uh, planetary gear set, which has been cleverly modified to become a peristaltic pump. Now, I actually want to use this, but I want to modify it to work with a DC motor. Uh, so, the first thing you're going to need is a program called FreeCAD. Now, I recommend it anyway. It's got a lot of useful features that uh, some of the mainstream CAD programs don't have. Um, and Fusion 360 is another program I'll be using in this uh, demonstration. So let's go. So first we're going to download all the files for this peristaltic pump. Uh, once downloaded, I'm going to go and open FreeCAD. In FreeCAD, you're going to go File, Open. You're going to navigate to the STL that you just downloaded. And you're going to open that. Now here we go, this is our mesh, and we're going to select our mesh, uh, we're in the parts workspace, so make sure you're in the parts workspace, workspace. Uh, and then once you've selected the mesh body, you're going to create shape from mesh. Now I'm going to lower my resolution, or my, my resolution, my tolerances, to about 10 microns this may take a little while okay now this is complete we all have our body and our mesh we can go ahead and delete our mesh at this point uh, here's my view and the next step will be to select the body and go back to the part list and we're going to convert the body to solid I'll convert the solid the next step will be then to refine the shape Notice that uh, a lot of the vertices from the mesh have been removed. Now that the shape has been refined, we're going to select the refined shape and export. Uh, export as a step file. You can choose whatever um, solid or file format you'd like. I don't know how all of them will work. In this case, we're just sticking to step. And we're going to call it pump. And say okay, so your next step is going to be go into Fusion 360, click on this icon here, new design from file, and you're going to select the pump.step file that you just exported from FreeCAD. It's going to wait a minute for it to import. Okay, so here's your step file. And I'm just going to expand this. You can see it comprises of the five bodies. You got your intermediate gears, your planets, your outside gear, and your sun gear in the middle. Now, the first step here is going to be to create components from bodies. This is going to make it easier to modify each individual component. Now I'm going to select the sun gear. And I'm going to remove this polygon in the middle so that I can make a circular hole for my shaft to mount to. So 
I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to select this plane and click in the middle. And I'm going to press Q on my keyboard to extrude. And I'm going to carry it right back through. And touch this face to make sure it's in line. And make sure I'm doing the join operation. OK. You can see that it has been removed. Go circle on this face. And I can't quite find a snap to center. So a quick workaround here would be to circle and a three point circle. And we're going to select the tips. Actually, a better, more accurate would be a three-point circle. But let's pick these tips. Any three you like. So now we have a center. We're going to go back to circle. Snap to that center. And 0 0.25 inches. And I'm going to extrude through. And it's going to be in the cut operation. Now, the next part is going to be clicked. This component, component 5. And I'm going to sketch on the bottom face to make a platform to mount my mortar to. Create sketch. Select the bottom. Use a rectangle. There we go. Q for extrude. And I'm going to hold control or command on a Mac and pull this down about five millimeters should be plenty and enter. Uh, but I forgot to join, use the join command. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to modify, combine, and I'm going to select this piece and this piece and join now you can see it's one solid body so there you have it a modified STL it's a step now to print it you would just go to make 3d print and you can export it to whichever uh, 3D processing or 3D print utility you prefer. Thanks.